Lena's a bit shaky. G firm. Ooh. Yeah. That's a great start from Lena, so we're really happy with that. Polo. U firm. Orientation lot trying to find a good start. Seems to have found something. Chose white. Ooh. J perm, but messed it up. Oh. So, so probably those two times will not be counting for his average. So it's basically like he's doing like a six by six mean of three now. Yeah, solid solve. Yep. Oh, oh cross mistake. R perm. Both only solving on white, it seems. Yes. Interesting. White firm. 925. Back again. Competing at the top level. Yeah, making it the finals just makes you more hungry. Good Ooh. solve. Great, Great solve. solve. 541. Mistake on the OLL there. Uh, yes, I think he did two OLLs. Good start. Let's keep going. Why perm? Uh, small lockup. Oh, oh no. Quite a lot of lockups. You perm? Yeah. yeah. Got a PB in the last round, so I don't think he expected to be here. Solving nice and smoothly. Yep. Eight thirty-nine. Let's have another look at his second solve here. Chose yellow as his cross color. Small mistake. And the RFU G turn. So flow nice and naturally. If you get one pause early on, it kind of can snowball into the last layer. Oh, N perm. Ooh, wow. That's not what you want to see. 917 for Harry. Oh, the all competitors will be using is the PLL. That means uh, you will solve the last few pieces of the top layer. There's uh, 21 different cases. And uh, Alexander got a nice one here. Yep. Counting 645. That's nice. Get a D2 keyhole pair. I know we've seen some really good souls on the fourth scramble already. We have. Patrick's got a four. Max got a six and Lena's got a five. G perm. <laughs> 665 yeah. very solid. That's all right, that's all right. So his best possible average is a seven, oh, is a 620. It looks like they had the same solution. I think they, they had exactly it. the same last layer. Couple of big pauses there during F12. T perm. 849. It is not his worst time, but he does go in first, as mentioned. Get him into about place number six or five. Probably. Who knows? Ooh, Harry oh, Harry does it! Harry with a well, 593! I'm taking all of the 15 seconds he could. Ooh. The lefty version from both the buyers and Corny. Corny Listic went before. In 3x3. Looks like a very solid start. Good soul! In a top performer. Hey, um, oh, lucky. Slight mistake. 
to see a lot more of the same solution on some of these songs. Oh, hesitant, hesitant. Eperm. Eight eighty seven. I'm surprised <laughs> at how frequently it's happening actually. Great solve. Oh, great solve. Oh. oh. Six seventy seven. <laughs> you know? Quick, and he knows the Z below. Seven thirty-three. Very. Well, Richard did not have the same solution as the ones in the previous round. No, and he also didn't know the Z below. You can see Kevin shaking a little bit during inspection. This was a very this smooth so far. BLL. Yes, six twenty. Five. 48. So, no matter what they do on these solves, they will guarantee themselves into the second position. So, another LUF deeper for Richard. A 727. Relatively smooth. It's very shaky. 744. Steadily, 827. Anti soon. Oh, he cancelled right into that. Soon and oh, Aper. What a lock up. Oh, oh and I think he plus two to <laughs> anyway. Plus two down, so that's a 12 29. Chat likes to see it, I'm sure. Solving on blue. Oh, oh. 689 with another plus two penalty. Some small lock ups. L. Oh, oh he, he did the wrong ZBLL. He's checking it now. <laughs> <laughs> Knut going for his fourth. V turn and 809. Yeah, I think it's probably worth it if you're a new, new, new solver. Could be a good solve. Seven seven eight. The room goes silent as Jane as Zane goes for his first soul. Seven twenty seven. Right. Maybe they will do a record. A national, a personal, maybe a North American. Oh, this is a great solve. Oh. Five by four. Second solve. Taking a while to inspect. But it is important to make use of inspection when you have it. Four. Oh. Oh, he's looking really clean. Oh, look up before the apron. That could have easily been a second faster, but... It's very shaky. Again, another ZBLL, 6.87. Still a little shaky. 
but he went straight into the oh, well, ooh, that is that is sold and fairly so oh another smooth sold yeah. wow super smooth into the tzbll best possible average is a 727 and worst 803 so either way it's probably going to be a seven average he's still a little shaky Ooh, bit of a lock up at the end, but finishes with a 797, which is really. Oh, and he does. That's a really good average. 559. Wow. What a performance from Patrick. Yeah. I've seen that solution before. Definitely. Time for his first. Let's see how he does. Good solve. Oh, well. 588. Chris choosing blue on the second one. Apron. Wow. 762. Let's see if it's the same for Chris. Meanwhile, Rasmus on his second solve as well. Oh no. Eperm. Oh, bit of a cube drop there. 8.8. .8. Oh, Enperm. He did not do the, uh, the classical one. He chose for the, the new fancy ones. One. This looks really good. It's very smooth so far. Another e -pun. 680. Yeah. That's the new v once yep. again. Of the current times. <laughs> Rasmus with a couple of really long pauses. Wide soon, a perm, 761. So, he can't get ahead of Alexander Collier, but he can sneak into third. So this is looking good. 691. Really good average, especially for a two at a time final like this. I'm sure he would have hoped for more, but he can definitely be satisfied with that. Anti soon and the Afrua. Sebastian starting his first soul, obviously on white. 590, 590, that's a great start. But no way. <laughs> Kim also going for the white cross. D2 there for the after all. I think that was the same solution as Harry Savage. So too, yeah. But Kim could very much do it here. The times on the second scramble have not been good from the European cohort. So maybe Kim can change that. Ooh, did, did he do a Y2? Eight perm? 718. That is indeed the best time from a European on the scramble, 7.18. Banner and Sebastian's works. Ooh. 639. 799 will improve his average. A 
think it will. Another apron. 686. All right. That is a 651 average. That is, that is really, really De solid. That's a sub six average. It's Abrams, though. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh lock up at the end. Anthony Patarakis, he is already a champion because he won the two by two category. Viper. Seven point seven. That's a very good start. Going for yellow cross but messing it up. Messed up OLL as well. <laughs> we know Philip only does white cross. Ooh, ooh, also a bit of a lock up. Slow cross. Still salvage to solve. Yeah. Six five. Six sixty five is really good. For his third, has done two mid sixes so far. It's oh, 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 no, that's a plus two. two. Daniel's just chucking it. Yeah, oh, that is a plus two. Oh. So it's a six seventy one. Oh my god. won the European Championship before in 2016, but Sebastian Weyer has never won 3x3 three three in a major. It's about time then. You burn. 718. After 2019, where he placed third at the World Championships, another podium place for Sebastian Weyer at the European Championships. Oh. 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 His first moves. Shaky there, his hands. Uh, oh, bit of a lock up. Still a 692, that's quite reasonable for Philip. Safety to top cubers are when you're nervous, just turn at 90% speed because that little bit really helps out the flow of the song. Oh, it's a super smooth. G perm. <laughs> little bit of a lock up, little bit of hesitation going into that last lap. Quite a number of rotations. That looks like a good solve. Yes. 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 Six move all out and a V turn. Yeah, so that's a maybe that's the reason why we're not in the finals and these guys are. <laughs> Is that perm? Oh, and a corner twist. Lucky. Oh. Same algorithm. There's two different Z perms you can do, both with M, M moves. Yes. J perm. Oh. So he tried doing a Z BLL there, I think, and recognized the wrong pace. Oh. And solve. After this, we will know what his best possible and worst yeah. possible averages are going to be. Looks good. Small lock. Oh, very lucky. Oh. 613, yeah. Wow. It's been a long competition. Yes. But hopefully these finalists, even though they've had a long day, can uh, perform well under this pressure. That's a good solve. Very good solve. Yes, 641. Solve on white again. Another no, six, six move on and a F burn. Oh, oh. 671. 
That's not going to quite do it. But they're missing out on three. Not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Doing a white cross here. If you're ready, you're ready. Yep. Solely on white on the second soul. Soon. Are you FG perm seven thirty six? Just have one minute to get ready. And so Timon is very aware of the regulation. So he takes all the time he needs. He chose mine. Five ninety nine. as well. Wiper. Ooh, it's really close. Wait for the confirmation. It's good, it's good. A perm. Six a little bit of a lock up. A little bit of a lock up at six twenty four. G perm seven sixty two. He's not happy with that. That's it. That's it. Five ninety four. Taken the win. He doesn't know it yet. He knows he's done well, but he doesn't know he's won. He will be third. He actually only needs a six thirty three on the soul. It's going to be close. Oh, no. 782. And he's going to be very disappointed with it that. It was on the table. Oh. <laughs> 627. That ties his worst time. So he does indeed lock in the 6.17 average. Making Timon Kolodzinski the European champion in 3 by 3 Which just leaves us with the main event. In third place, with an average of 7.01 from Germany, Kevin Gerhardt. In third place, 3 by 3 from Germany, Kevin Gerhardt with a 7.01 average of 5. Second place, also from Germany, with an average of 6.51, Sebastian Weyer. Half a second faster than his countryman, Sebastian Weyer, with a 6.51. He secures his back-to-back -back podiums in major competitions. He improved on his third place for Worlds, because he now came in second. But he did get second in the last year. So he's kept his position at second. Oh, really? Yep, Philip came third at the last year. Uh, yep, I said he improved. But he came second in the last Euros. Oh, he improved from Worlds, not from Euros. Yeah. Yeah. And your winner of this Rubik's WCA European Championship 2022 for the 3x3 three three category, Timon Kolodzinski from Poland with an amazing 617 average in the finals. Uh, Trophy, which, will, which is engraved with the names of all former winners of the European Championship, and Timans will be the next to be added to this trophy. So Timon wins this new trophy with all the names of the previous winners of the European Championship. So his name will be engraved next to that of Max Falk, the previous one. And if he keeps continuing like this, I'm sure his name will pop up again. On behalf of the selection committee, we would like. Simon Kolosinski as the winner of 3 by 3 to announce the location of the 2024 European Championship. Right. Pamplona, Spain. Oh. <laughs> We're going back to Spain. Big the, 
and the Spanish, Spanish Cubans here, they're happy that they have brought home the next European Championships 2024, which will be in Pamplona, Spain. James instantly getting online to look for flights. <laughs> <laughs>